welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about three ways that you can loop songs that have two or more sections. So here we go. There's a beautiful video from Paul David's called Seven Fun Guitar Looping Songs that I think you should check out. But it's also the reason I decided to make this video because in those seven songs there are a bunch of songs that have bridges, that have different sections and although he plays beautifully and creates these really really nice loops uh, I'd be really intrigued to see what happens when he gets to a bridge um, where the chord structure changes. So here's how I get around looping songs and performing them that have two or more sections. The first way is to simply stop your loop during that section and work in a natural dynamic drop to that little bridge or that little uh, B section if you like. If it don't matter to you, it don't matter to me. Into the bridge. Yesterday and what we could be, it don't matter. Getting more of what we don't need. It don't matter, everything unless I'm with you It doesn't matter to me And then we're back in with our nice loop We can Here's our song with just that one change. Now, using this same song, we can dive into tip number two. The second way that we can loop songs that have two or more sections is to either use the undo and redo button if you're using a single looper, or if you're using two tracks, we can put the groove on one track, and then we can put our chord sequence that we want to loop for the majority of the song, or the, uh, the bigger part of the loop. Um, and this will create a less of a dynamic drop in those B sections. So I've now got on track A just my little groove. On track B I have my chord sequence that is the verse and the chorus for this song. Again, just keeping it nice and simple. I'm going to kick in both loops and then when it comes to the bridge we're just going to keep the rhythm going and take out the guitar parts that were put in and then of course when we after the bridge we're going to kick both of them back in again if it don't matter to you it don't matter to me you will. back in with both parts. All good. We made it through that little change section. So this idea of keeping a rhythm track going through a song that has two or more sections can be super useful, especially if there's three sections in a song uh, where the chord structures are different. Okay, so the third way to do this is to simply change the chord so that you have one repeating loop that you can sing the entire song over. This will not work for every song, uh, or maybe it will, and, and you'll be really creative, uh, like the guy that sings um, All Star over absolutely every single song. Um, but it is an option that you can use 
to then uh, build a loop for a song and create your own unique version. This is a little version I do of Niles Barkley's Crazy uh, using a loop and just four chords, E minor, G, A minor, and B minor. So I'm tuned to E flat if this is your first time watching my video, so if you want to play along, um, that would be E flat minor, G flat, A flat minor, and B flat minor. Um, otherwise, put it in a key that suits your voice uh, and have fun with it. Something so pleasant about that place well, Even your emotions had an echo in so much space When you're out there without care, yeah, I was out of touch Oh, but it wasn't because I didn't know enough I just knew too much yeah. Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Probably And I hope that you are having the time of your life But think twice That's my only advice Think you are ha <laughs> ha bless your soul You really think you're in control Well I think you're crazy I think you're crazy I could hear it and you will have heard it as well that in that last track my vocal got sucked into the loop. Uh, even though it's only recording my guitar channel, singing in a room like this with an open sound hole on the guitar can sometimes mean you end up with your vocal coming through just muffled quietly in the background but obviously the guitar works on vibration and that's being picked up and added into my guitar signal. So. One thing I use is a little feedback buster that helps with this. It stops a little bit of that vibration and sound coming out, entering the sound hole and being part of your guitar's sound and tone. But it, it can be a challenge with acoustic guitars and looping and especially if you've got your PA, your uh, amps and the sound that you're running at a very high level, then your guitar will pick up some of your vocal. Uh, one of the fun challenges of the game. Wrapping up this Thursday Tech Tips video, I hope you found some ideas that are useful to you uh, and maybe now you can go and attempt to loop that song that previously you thought was unloopable. Um, I hope you have fun with it. I'm thinking as well, maybe I'll do a Can I Loop This little series. What do you think? Um, if you've got a Can I Loop This song that you want to throw in uh, or question, maybe I'll have a look at tackling some of them and see if I can figure out a fun way to create loops with them. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I will see you next week with another little video and happy playing in the meantime.